so you know what that means. It's, it's Hall Appreciation Day. It's only right we brought it back for the weekend since it's Memorial Weekend. Yes. Now, if you don't know what Hall Appreciation Day is, that's when we appreciate a hoe. Yeah, hoes don't get enough credit. Hoes are right. out here winning in these streets. We get an award. Yeah, we want to give you the credit you deserve for being a hoe. Now, okay. name some of the hoes that are already in this uh, category. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Why you always say her first? Because um, she's the one that originated it. That's yes. how it happened. Yes. The hoes be winning. Kanye West is in there. Greatest hoe of our generation, absolutely, is Kim um, K. Drake, I think, is in there as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. Amber Rose was in it, but her wholeness got deleted. J.R. Smith is in it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people. Mm -hmm. Joe Button was in it. Yep. Yep. So, yeah. We got a new Evelyn one today. Evelyn Lozada. Yep. We got a new one today, though. Which one? You ready? Yes. All right. Well, this person has been accused of all kinds of things. First of all, he slept with... Two women, by the way, allegedly. Well, maybe he hasn't because he denied one and the other one is in a book that we might say are two of the biggest thoughts of our generation. Uh-oh. That would be Superhead and Cat Stacks. Now, he denies the whole Cat Stacks situation and he actually called her out on the air over it. But Cat Stacks did name him and say that she was in the studio with him at one point and she was drunk and she was drinking Grey Goose and they were hanging out for a few hours and so on and so forth. And uh, he confronted her and said that it's not true. Okay, so we don't know if that's true or not, but we do know that in uh, Superhead's book, she raided the men that she's been with, and she gave Nelly a medium. That's right, Nelly is the person that we are appreciating today. He's getting an award. Now, Nelly's been in the middle of all kinds of drama lately, in case you don't know. We know him most for being in a, a relationship, a quote-unquote relationship, because he never labeled it, never told us that he was locked down with the Shanti for nearly 10 years, okay? Here is uh, Nelly after their breakup. Cause then you break up with her. That was but the rules. Oh, no, you cheated on her. But you you said that like you have picked a side. No, I'm saying she seems heartbroken. You seem good. You know, but maybe that's just you know. Oh. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? Again, you know, relationships are tough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a man can't never just say, well, it just didn't work out between us. Yeah. Oh, I could have been. what she do? All right. Well, clearly they broke up, got back together, broke up, got back together, but never were officially together. So who knows what that situation was. But he did date Lashante Hecker. That was the rebound or the women that he had been dealing with for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Now, after he did get with Tay Hecker, we talked to Ashanti and she said this. Did you feel a way when you saw him out and about with somebody else? Who is I'm this bitch, Cornell? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this bitch you on gossip with, Cornell? I mean, <laughs> um, let me see. Did I feel a way? I'm very smart, and I know him. I knew what the facade was, so. That girl don't like you when she sees you, though. What? <laughs> All right. Well, after that all happened, uh, Nelly had gave Lashanta his woman crush Wednesday, but she had already moved on with Brandon Jennings. So what does Nelly do? He moved on as well. Who did he move on with? With Floyd Mayweather's ex fiance Chantel Jackson. Now, allegedly, Floyd and Nelly were kind of friends. You know, according to Floyd, they used to kick it, and he was betrayed. He felt betrayed that Chantel would date somebody who was in his circle of friends. Uh, here is Floyd Mayweather talking about Miss Chantel Jackson. You know, always tell her you always got to carry yourself in an orderly fashion, in an orderly, in an orderly conduct. You were just with me not too long ago, s sexually. You was with me sexually not too long ago. Then you out courtside, you know, with another guy. Whether you guys are having sex or not, that's still a bad look. Forgive me. Have some respect and some dignity, some dignity for yourself. Be a lady first. Well, Nelly was writing hard for. Miss Jackson, making sure that Floyd doesn't disrespect her. But then it turns out he's in the middle of yet another love triangle. Another one? Yes, and this is uh, Greg Hardy's girlfriend, Nicole Holder. Now, if you don't know who Greg Hardy is, he plays for the Panthers. And apparently he was upset and got into a domestic situation with his girlfriend because of her short-lived relationship with Nelly. Apparently he couldn't deal with it, couldn't take it, and kept bringing it up. And it led to him being very violent, okay? So there you are, Nelly. Welcome. Drop down, get your eagle on and all of that. You stupid. Don't, Hall of Fame. don't leave your girl around Nelly. That's right. Shout out to There'll Nelly. There'll be though. a dilemma for sure. Very impressive list. <laughs> and that's just who we know, okay? Gosh, it's not no. just the nondescript people. These are the people that we know. I'm I'm not mad at you, Nelly. I'm one of those double standard type of guys who applauds the men for uh, betting a lot of women. All right. Well, happy Memorial Day yes. to you, Nelly, and congratulations. Okay. Congratulations, On Nelly. your achievement. You're, You're in the, the whole Hall, Hall of Fame, fame now. That's right. I Good think company. we, we got to start having levels to the whole Hall of Fame. It, like, it got to be like a, a like president, you know, uh, vice president. Uh, like, vice no, no, no. It should be managers. like uh, gold. Silver and bronze. Yeah. And platinum. Platinum yeah. is tippity tippity top. Yeah. yeah. I, 
All right, now when we come back, we're talking thought spots for the weekend. Let's talk thought spots. It's Memorial Day weekend, of course. We know you hoes is out in abundance. You know, everybody knows the typical thought spots like, you know, Miami. Vegas. Um, Myrtle Beach for Dominican Black Republic, Mike weekend. Puerto yes. Rico. Cancun, right? Yeah. But where are the secret thought spots? Where are the thought spots that may, everybody may not be up on for Memorial weekend? So do we want the thoughts to call in? Yes, the thoughts, the thought chasers. Celebrate your life. Yes. 800-585-1051. Thought spots for the weekend. Call us right now.